Hey guys, uh, so today I'm back on the P48 project, which is our 1948 Chevy 3100. Uh, I'm working on the frame notching that we had to do to clear the rack and pinion steering arms. Um, so I'm cutting up my uh, big chunk of Schedule 40 pipe here so I can fit that into the frame section that needs to be trimmed back a little bit and uh, get those welded in to clearance the steering arm on the rack and pinion. Um, so I've unfolded my fancy fab table here and I'm uh, getting ready to cut this tube up and uh, I'm going to make two half moons out of it. Hopefully one for each side will work. I think there's plenty of tube there for that. Uh, and then I'm going to trim uh, trim the back edge of the frame there that I need to trim to fit this into place. Get everything ground up and, uh, and welded into place. And I want to say thanks for subscribing to you guys, the uh, new guys that have joined up. Uh, you know, it helps me uh, stay motivated on the channel and keep trying to make better videos. I know some of my videos are uh, leave a little bit to be desired, and uh, I'm trying to get better about that and better camera angles and uh, try and bring you guys good views that are entertaining and uh, involving and, uh, you know, uh, give you something good to watch, some good quality content to watch. So please stick with me. I'm going to try and improve, and uh, we're going to bring you some better stuff. We've got... Uh, some plans in the works. Uh, we we're talking about doing another Ford video here pretty soon. And um, maybe once the P48 here is done, uh, maybe start a big F350 project. I don't know. Uh, it, might be, uh, it might be great. It might be bad. I don't know. Uh, but, but we're talking about it. And it would be uh, delving back into the uh, rock crawling world that... I've been out of for a while, um, but uh, you know I, I'd love to build something big and badass, and um, I think uh, a Ford OBS based crawler would be awesome. You know you don't see too many of that on the trails around here, and uh, and I think it would uh, bring a lot of people to the channel and uh, give you guys a lot of good content. It would be a long build, but uh, with a lot of cool fab work, and I think it would be uh, entertaining. So. That's something we're considering, and uh, if we can find the right truck for the basis of that project, um, I think we might look into doing that. So anyway, I'm going to get to work here on the P48 and get this, uh, get these steering arm notches uh, welded into the frame. So I got the uh, got the notches clearanced out for the rack and pinion uh, notching that we're going to do in the frame. I opened those up a little bit and uh, test fit my notches. So now what I've got to do is uh, I'm going to bolt the rack and pinion back into place uh, temporarily. Fit my fit my Schedule 40 pipe moons half moons uh, over the rack and pinion boot. Get that spaced correctly. Tack them into place on both sides drop the rack and pinion and then I can fully weld everything.
Alright guys, so I got the bulk of the welding done on the notches in the frame to clear the uh, rack and pinion boots. And what I got to do now is trim these uh, cutoffs from cut that I trimmed the back when I had to move that notch back a little bit. Trim these down to size, weld them into the frame in the front section of the frame where I've got to fill in those gaps. So like right here, I'm going to grind this to fit right into there, weld the, weld the bottom section in, and we'll be all sealed back up. Okay guys, so I got most of the frame rail fixed here on the uh, P48. Um, steering arm clearance looks great, so um, I'm going to leave patching the inside and the bottom of the frame rail until I have the motor back out. So I'm doing the firewall at the same time. Uh, I've got to do some more removal on the front here on the inside of the engine compartment and then I can plate that whole uh, section of frame in while I'm in there. So just doesn't make sense for me to try and do that with the motor in the way um, it's not necessary so uh, here's how it came out this is the driver's side so if we look down steering arm here see we have good clearance all the way around can go full travel so I think we're going to leave it just like that. There are a little, couple little boogers here in it, but uh, I think once it's all painted, uh, that's all going to go away. So I'm good with that. I still have to patch this section underneath and then the inside, of course. But uh, like I said, I'm going to do that after, uh, after I get the motor out. So now I can put the uh, suspension back in and work on, work on the rear support here for the lower control arm bracket. Uh, I'm going to make a, make a tab that comes off the frame here. And I'll probably end up welding that to the boss here on the cross member just to give it a little extra strength. Um, run the bolt back through it, put all the suspension back together for good. Here's how we look on the passenger side. About the same. Good clearance all the way around. Alright guys, that's going to pretty much wrap it up for me today for the P48 project. Um, got a lot of good stuff done there and fitting uh, the rack and pinion through the frame rail, the bottom half of the frame rail. Got the Schedule 40 um, pipe cut and fitted into the frame came out good. Um, also patched that little section of frame rail in the front there and pretty happy with how the patching came out on both sides. Looks great. Steering arms on the rack and pinion have plenty of clearance now so uh, you know it, when, when we do airbag it uh, and we bring that truck all the way down those steering arms have to travel up so you have to have that upward clearance. Um, 
I know I've got plenty of travel, I just want to make sure I had full travel on both steering arms, and I do on both sides, so that's, that's exactly what I was looking for there. So tomorrow what I'm going to focus on is I'm going to make the tabs that are going to support the rear part of those lower control arm mounts. Um, make the two tabs, get those welded into the frame, and that way I can put the whole suspension back together, put the shocks in the front of it, and be done with the front suspension and um, start fitting, building and fill, fitting our steering shaft to our steering column. So we've already got the steering column clamped into place. That came out good. Uh, just have to connect the steering to the rack and pinion and the rack and pinion to the uh, steering arms on the knuckles. So once that's done, we'll be able to steer this thing like a big giant go-kart and uh, I'll be able to push it up to the top of the street here and coast down it. Um, well, I don't have brakes, but if I had brakes, we could do that. So that's going to be the next big thing. So once I get uh, lower control arm mounts built, supports built, uh, and welded in, I'm going to start focusing on brakes. So I'm going to uh, start working on the pedal assembly that, that's going to hang underneath of our dash. Uh, get that fitted into the dash um, so that it looks pretty clean and fits correctly and the pedals have full travel both directions. Um, and then I can mount the master cylinder to the firewall and uh, start pulling brake lines. So I'm, I'm pretty stoked. We're getting really close. Um, I'm hoping that the pedal assembly doesn't need too much modification to fit under the dash. I think it's going to be uh, pretty straightforward getting it mounted in there. It's going to need some fabrication work, but I think it's going to fit in there pretty good. And, and we'll have a nice functional pedal assembly that's OEM, you know, and uh, bolts in like it should and supports the steering column like it should at the top. And, uh, and mounts our master cylinder and booster to the firewall properly. So. All of that stuff's going to be great. Uh, it's going to be a big improvement to the truck. Um, as far as drivability and reliability go, it's going to be uh, it's going to be exactly what we're looking for. So I'm really excited to get to that portion of the project. And once that's done, all we need to do is stick a drive shaft in it, and it's going to be drivable. So uh, <clears throat> we're getting really close. Some of you guys probably saw the uh, Ford OBS video that we did this weekend with Kevin's truck, and uh, that came out really good. Uh, a lot of people are, are really digging on that project, and uh, we have a lot of great Ford stuff in the works. I have a, I have an idea in the back of my head that keeps nagging at me for a, for a badass uh, Ford build, and um, I'm not sure if I want to commit to it yet. So that's why I'm not laying out too many details. I'm working them out on paper and trying to come up with a, a guesstimation as to uh, what it's going to cost me to build, but. Um, I think a lot of you guys that love Ford OBSs would really get a kick out of it, and it would be fun to build. You know, I haven't I haven't built a, um, this style of rig in a while, and I think uh, I think I might be down for it. So we'll see we'll see who, if anything comes of that or not. But as far as the P48 goes, that's it for me for today. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like the content, please click like and subscribe.